Hi friends. All right, we're gonna jump into our map paper today. We're in section 10.1. Today we're in a new chapter, which is chapter 10, and we're talking about four digit numbers. Yes, you heard me right, four digit numbers, which means in Daddy Digit's house that we always talk about and draw, there's a new room. We knew about the ones room, we knew about the tens room, we've known about those for a very long time. We also started doing the hundreds room, right? And we've been adding with those numbers. And today we're gonna add the thousands room. It's huge. Does that kind of blow your mind? That's a huge number, friends. This number is gonna involve a comma now. So now when you use or write a number in the thousands, you need a comma. And the comma actually means thousands. So when you see a number that has a comma in it, that's where you say thousand in the number. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our paper and I'm gonna share um, my screen here with you so you can see it and we can do the same thing together. Very cool. Um, don't worry about that little white section that's there. Ms. Warner, the picture that I took of the paper before I gave it to you in your packet, had it was all messed up. It was blurry, so we couldn't use it. So I, I did what I could with what I had, right? And then I, I just erased the answer. So I don't want to give you the answers just yet. I'm not ready for you to have the answers just yet. We'll do them together, okay? We got to use our brain a little bit. All right, friends. So let's review really quick what the single units are when we're doing our base 10 blocks. So if you look right here, ones are the single units. Single means just one, okay? And the tens are going to be that little rod. We call it a rod or like a stick that has the tens right here because there's 10 ones. If you count them, you know that there's 10. And then if we have 10 tens, that makes the hundreds here. There's 10 lines if you count them across okay so there's ones which equal one if we put 10 of those together it equals a 10 if we put 10 tens together that equals 100 and now get this if you put 10 of these hundreds together it makes 1000 so if you count across it's like those it's the little squares that have a hundred there's 10 of them and if you just like set them stand them up together now if we were in class you would each have your set of your um tens to put them together and make a thousand so there's 10 tens that equals a thousand let's read the number that they have right here right here so when you read, you're going to read starting at the thousands and go all the way to the ones. Okay, so let's read this together. Are you ready? Two thousand. Remember the comma says thousand. Two thousand three hundred fifty-six. Wow, that's a lot of numbers, friends. Good job. Okay, and they show it to you using the base ten blocks. How many? Wait, this looks a little bit crazy. Let me erase what I have here. Beautiful. And let's look at this right here. How many thousands do we have there? Two, right? You count one and then two. So there's two thousands. And do you see that they wrote it right here? Yeah, in the thousands room, very good. Two thousands, and let's see how many hundreds they have. One, two, three. You see it right here in the hundreds room? 300, very good. And let's look at the tens one two three four five five tens and let's count the ones one two three four five six and that's that number right there so do you see how they counted all of those and they put them in the rooms that they're supposed to be in right daddy digit doesn't like any of his digits to be in mixed up in other rooms right they have to be in their specific room all right friends let's move along on our paper let's go down to the bottom I don't know why, but I get the feeling you guys are gonna catch on to this very, very quickly. Let's look at number one. Oh, you guys are so lucky. They always do this. They give you the first answer. Gosh, why do they do this? I don't understand why they make it so easy for you. Okay, so if I have one of those boxes, oh wait, I skipped something. So sorry, go back up to the top. It says a thousand, if you're looking right here, a thousand is how many hundreds? How many hundreds of the squares? How many of the squares do we put together to make a thousand? A thousand is how many hundreds? If you said 10, you're exactly correct. Good job. There's 10 hundreds to make 1,000. 
Let's go ahead and look down at number one. You see that cube that's there? That is equal to 1,000. So they wrote that for you already. So now we get to count all the thousands. Everything on this page is thousands. That's all they have. They didn't add any tens or ones or hundreds. It's only thousands. Let's look at number two. How many thousands are there? One, two. So do I just write the number two? No. You're going to add your comma and then three zeros. Because if there's no other number, this is the ten, the hundreds, sorry, the tens and the ones room. If there's no other number, then in the thousands place, then you just put zeros in the rest of the rooms. Let's look at number three. Let's count our thousands. One, two, three, four, five. So what's our number? Just five? Five hundred? Is it fifty? Or five thousand? Yes, five thousand. Let's write a five. Don't forget your comma. One, two, three. Three zeros are in 5,000. So in the thousands place, there's going to be four places, okay? Always four places. There's going to be four numbers anytime you're talking about thousand. So if there's no other number in any other room, that would just be zeros. So 5,000. Don't forget your comma. Let's look at the number four. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. And really we should be counting 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. That's a lot. Could you imagine if that was 7,000 Skittles or 7,000 puppies or $7,000? That's a lot, right? It's a huge number. Seven and the comma means thousand. Zero, zero, zero. Very good. Does your paper look like mine? Awesome, let's keep going. Okay, there's way more. Can we handle this? That's a lot, it's a lot to say when you're counting in the thousands. Ready, let's count. Begin 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. Wow, we thought 7,000 was a big number, but I think 8,000 just beat it. 8,000. And don't forget the three zeros. All right, let's go ahead and flip our paper to the back side. And I went ahead and drew, just like I do on, my, on the board for you at the class, I did the little roof there. And this time I added a little chimney just to be silly, but I want you to look at this as Daddy Digit's house. And I want you to see that these are all the rooms. Before we used to have three rooms when we were talking about hundreds, but now that we're talking about thousands, we added one more room. And do you notice that there's a little comma in the room? They already did that for you, that's very cool. All right, are you up for this challenge? Look at number six, you're gonna write four digit numbers in the place value chart. Remember, if they don't give you a, a number in the ones or if they don't give you a number in the tens, what's the number that you write that doesn't really mean anything? Zero, right? Okay, good. All right, let's look at number six. Let's read that together. How many thousands are there? One, very good. How many hundreds are there? One, two, three. Three hundred. How many tens? One, two, three, four, five tens, which means 50, because if we're counting by tens, that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Very good. And how many ones? One, two. Awesome. All right, let's read this big number together because that's important to practice, okay, friends? How to say this huge long number because it can kind of get confusing if we don't practice it, all right? Let's say it together. 1,352. Good job, guys. Let's move on to number seven. How many thousands are here? One, two thousand. Is there any hundreds? You're right. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six hundreds. How many tens? One, two, three tens. Ooh, and how many ones? Put more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. Ooh, they were so close. They had. They were almost going to have to give... Um, the number here to the tens room, right? If there was nine is the biggest number that can be in any one of these rooms before they have to send them over to the next room. Whew, that was a close one. All right, 
Let's go ahead and look at number eight. Let's count them together. How many thousands? 2,000. How many hundreds? One, two, three, four, five hundred. Good job. I knew you knew that. How many tens? I almost said ones. How many tens? Because there's only one ten. And how many ones? Just one. One lonely little one. All right, let's say this number together. 2,500. Hmm, how would you say that last part? It's kind of tricky. 2,511. I hope you didn't get tricked on that. I think I would have gotten tricked on that part. All right, I'm going to scroll down a little bit to do the last two together. Are you ready? Number nine. How many thousands are here, Timmy? Yes, three. Nico, how many ten? Oh, sorry, hundreds. I almost forgot the hundred. How many hundreds are here, Nico? <gasps> Wait, where do the hundreds go? There's no, there's no blue ones. <gasps> oh, what do we write? If there's no, if there's none, you write a zero. You have to write something in that place. You can't just leave it blank because it wouldn't make sense with all those numbers. There's got to be a number or a digit in every single one of those rooms. Okay, so there's zero. And let's look at the tens. How many tens are there? Four, and how many ones? Macy, can you help me with the ones? How many ones are there? Five, good job. Let's say our number together, are you ready? 3,045, good job guys. And let's do the last one, are you ready? Cynthia, how many thousands are here? It's such a big number, how many thousands? One, two, three, four, five, good job. And how many hundreds? Let's see, Luca, how many hundreds do you see there? Three. Is there any tens, Alexander? Do you see any tens there? Uh-uh, so what do we write? Zero. And how about Mia? Can you help me with the ones? Count the ones for me. Did you say seven? Yeah, good job. All right, let's say this, this one is probably the biggest. Are you ready? Let's read it together. 5,307, because there's no tens. So we're just gonna say seven. All right, friends, let's scroll down to the bottom. Okay, let's look at these. They want us to solve these. Very simple, very basic, okay? Um, four take away eight. Hmm, can we do it? No, we can't, let's regroup. Two becomes one, four becomes 14. 14 take away eight. I'm gonna count from eight to 14. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's six. Drop down the one, 16. Very good, let's look at number 12. 93 take away 75. Well, can I take five if I only have three? Nope, you can't, let's borrow. Nine becomes eight, three becomes 13. 13 take away five. Let's count backwards. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. 8 take away 7 is 1. Good job, friends. 45 plus 5. Oh, easy peasy. That's a 10. Carry the 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. All right, let's look at number 14. 4 plus 7 more. Well, I like to start with the biggest number. Start counting from the biggest number and add the smallest number. So 4, sorry, 7. Think 7 and add 4 more. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I got to carry the one, take it to the top, bro, or take it to the top, sis. Five plus one is six, plus three more. Seven, eight, nine, 91. Eight plus seven more. That's a double plus one. So seven plus seven is 14 plus one more, 15. Carry the one. Six plus one is seven. Good job. All right. 39 plus 26, nine plus six. Hmm. There's no make a 10 there and there's no doubles. So we're gonna have to use our fingers. Hold up six, count with me from nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You know what's so awesome? I know that some of you guys, most of us still use our fingers, but I know that there's some of us who can do it really quick in your brain. Guess what? I still need to use my fingers for some of these because I get confused. I, I, it's hard for me to do it that fast. So I'm very impressed by those of you who can actually do it with just thinking. And I wonder what your brain looks like and what you're looking at when you're doing it. Are you looking at 10 frames? What is it? Are you looking at like objects that are that much? Cause you guys are pretty quick and I'm very impressed by that. We said 15, let's carry the one. 
three plus one is four plus two more is six, 65. Okay, friends, I'm going to let you guys do these last four on your own, just so that this video isn't super duper long and I'm taking up too much of your time. So you guys have four to do on your own and you're done with this whole paper and you can get on with the rest of your day. All right, friends, we'll talk later. Bye. Oh, wait, actually, you're going to see me again. Okay, bye.